Hey guys, Brett and Christy here. Uh, just uh, got off the block. Uh, one of our reasons I think we wanted to go on there was was break up the Groundhog Day and we were looking to get into some renovating and decided why not practice on these multi-million dollar homes, eh? Bit of a sucker for punishment, really. <laughs> Didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into, um, mm. but that came short and fast, I think. It did. So I've got a, a history in tiling, but I work in safety these days. And yeah, Christy's been a project manager for the longest time. Yeah. And we thought, I think with those kind of tools, we'd be able to take on the block. Um, I'll let you guys see how that goes. But <laughs> <laughs> was, see how that like, turns out. It felt like a good idea at, at one point. So essentially our journey for the block was to give it a red hot crack, try our hardest to get as much of us into our house as possible. Mm. We really wanted to show that, you know, even though you don't have any experience, you have the fundamentals, you can make it work. Mm. And um, having Brett as previously having a trade experience, we were thinking, hey, we're gonna keep that under our belt and uh, let that roll. <laughs> yeah, and I think the house itself actually speaks to our personalities. It's kind so. of a, a hard exterior with a nice warm interior once you're finally let in. I like it's a, that. Quite a large, large, um, impressionable property from the outside with a big fence. So when you do get on your way in, um, you're greeted with a nice, warm, real homely vibe, which mm. is something we wanted to have throughout the whole home. So I went in with having um, like a whole concept that I wanted the whole house to be like English Victorian and like a very contemporary sort of vibe. Mm. Um, then going in there, finding the facade that we were going with, it kind of shook everything. And I was like, yeah. we're gonna go in with the Scandi modern sort of vibe and really have it speak to itself the whole way through. So I think not knowing what sort of houses or what sort of season you're on, you. You have a plan, you get there, it all goes out the window as soon as you rock up. Yeah, it become like trying to put, if you go in there with a game plan of this is exactly what I'm gonna do and you're granted or you get a hold of this home, it's like putting a, a square in a circle hole. So you do have to adapt yeah. and change it up. And I think the, the Scandi style actually worked perfectly in this home. Mm. So, yeah. For us, a huge one was making the house so adaptable that it could be customized to any buyer. Um, so we didn't really want to niche ourselves into a market. So the color palettes, um, adaptability is seen through the whole house. And I think that is a key thing um, that made our house as unique as possible. You could pull shelves out and turn it into a bed head. You could change rooms by adding a rug into a rumpus room, all of these sorts of things. Yeah. And I think it was a huge one. I think given that for a selling point as well, is if it's a house of five, that a family of five that move in here, or, or a couple, each room can be adaptable to whatever to suit. So working in home spaces are in there, they can become bedrooms like Christy was just mm. saying. Um, and it just suits the larger mass. So yeah, it was a real good option to allow that way. Mm. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge that we come across was uh, re-stumping the whole house, uh, which is great now because we have modern a floors. Brand new house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> technically brand new house, but the others won't. So that was a huge challenge to take on. It was a massive part of a renovation and um, you know, mate, a curve that we were not expecting. But for the house itself, it's structurally sound now, so that's big. And a huge one for that is this is something that is a common occurrence with anyone that does any sort of huge renovations. You mm. don't know what's under the ground. You don't know what you're going to find while renovating. And yep. it was a huge one. Huge learning curve for us. <laughs> I think one of the biggest tips we took away was if you are going to renovate, definitely get a building inspection. <laughs> yeah. um, definitely yeah. have someone come through the house and have a look and make sure that it's sound before you take on anything like that. Especially if you're going up um, and the infrastructure that yeah. you're looking to put above, just make sure you're getting those building inspections, make sure everything's sound. Yeah, don't bother more than you can chew. Yeah. Um, if you do expose an area, have the building inspection done then so you can see, you don't want to pull out the whole thing and then have no choice. Mm. Um, you know, the floor I'm sure was sturdy enough. It had been there 70 years, but um, yeah, if you pulled up all of your floors and you're exposed to that to code, you have to redo the whole lot. 